Back now at 820 this morning on Parenting Today, preventing your teen from texting and driving. Consumer correspondent Janice Lieberman is here with what some are doing to save lives. Janice, good morning. Good morning. This is really important information. Eight teenage drivers are killed each day because they're not focusing on the road. Some advocates are sending the message loud and clear to teens and their parents that texting and driving don't mix. Just moments before this car accident, driver Jamie Nash was doing what she commonly did while driving. She was texting. I don't know who I was texting. I don't know what I was texting, but we do know that that was the cause. Although much of the accident is blurry, Jamie now recalls what happened a split second later after looking up from her phone. I know I lost control of the vehicle and it, it flipped a couple of times and landed against a small tree and then I was pinned inside. You need to hold it at the end. Complete. Over the course of 17 months, Jamie sustained 29 operations at Parkland Hospital in Dallas, Texas, and continues to recover from burns that covered 80% of her body. I was burned everywhere, pretty much, third and fourth degree. Learning a very hard lesson, Jamie's mission is to warn teens not to make the same mistake. This is a reminder on your thumb. It says text later. If you are distracted, it's going to happen. It's not worth your life or somebody else's. Like Jamie, other advocates such as Michelin Tires are also trying to drive the point home. This program is a great way of reaching out to young drivers and teaching them about what it means to drive safe and not do things like texting and driving. I recently attended a street survival program for teens sponsored by Michelin at their tire testing track. LOL can kill a person. Nobody is laughing when you get into a wreck because you were texting while you were driving or you were distracted. Professional so, test driver and instructor Sarah Robinson invited three of the teens to take me along. Tell me the truth. Do you ever text and drive? Um, sometimes I try not to as much as possible, but I mean, uh, it happens. I try not to. Every once, every once in a while, it'll happen though. Good, good. You, got it, you got it. You got it. You got it. They breeze yeah, through the going, course without going. distractions. Corner. This one's pretty tight, don't you think? But then the students were instructed to text while maneuvering the car. Oh, oh, gosh. Oh. Text your mom and tell her you love her. Oh gosh! Oh, no. oh. oh. oh boo. How far are we in the text message? <laughs> Not at all. What's going on? No. Okay, I think we've got a cone with us. It was an eye-opening experience for these teens. You're not focusing on the road like you should be. If you're looking down and texting. It definitely lost control of the car, for sure. A message every parent hopes their teen will hear loud and clear. It's the difference between graduating high school and not. I mean, it's that dramatic. The cones and plants used on the course represents a teen going off the road, hitting a structure, or even worse, running over a pedestrian. And tragically, and one of the student's friends in this class actually died very soon after that class in a texting accident. So, so then what can parents do? Because it bears repeating what you said earlier, 18 kids a day. Now, first of all, talk die. to your children because they listen to you. And tell them there's going to be consequences if they find out that they've been texting. Mm -hmm. But there's actual devices and aids out there that a parent can engage to make sure that this doesn't happen to their well, child. Well, tell us some, because there's some, uh, actually some apps that can work. How there's do they some work? Some apps, and what they do is you program the app, and if the car is in motion, you cannot receive a text, and you cannot receive a phone call. And it will say, I am driving, I cannot return your text at this time. But can you actually text? Does it stop you from texting? Stops itself? you. So what that does, and if a child tries to disable it, a parent will get the email saying that. So this oh. is one way you know that they can't do it. And what we have on and the screen eyes here. And that's Eyes Up. That's one of the biggest ones. There's text Ploxer, there's Phone Guard. You pay about $20 to download it per year, and you're done. Now, if you want to get some hardware that you could actually install into the port underneath the steering wheel, you can get something like this. This is Cell Control, $25 hardware fee, $8 a month, and it's peace of mind for you. But you really have to tell them, I'm not doing it, you don't do it, and you have to not do it. Exactly. Don't be the bad example. Yes. Janice Lieberman, thank you. Good information this morning.